everyone uh, a very good morning to all of you students welcome back to the session of uh, building construction technology uh, in which we were discussing in the last session about the different types of flooring okay students so uh, if you know if you have watched the uh, sessions continuously then you should be able to understand that till now we were discussing about the different building components uh, in which we are done with doors windows and staircase we are also halfway done with the flooring uh, the floor and the floor covering uh, and at last we are going to have about the roof and the roof coverings uh, so in the flooring what did we discuss till now first we discussed about different types of flooring but before that even i discussed about the concept about the various technical terms related to the flooring we talked about what is barsati what is mamti what is loft uh, what is the uh, ground floor upper floor roof i also talked about the differences about the uh, different uh, methods practiced in the construction of the ground floor the upper floor and the roof or the terrace because all three have different purposes all three have are been built in different conditions so obviously it is going to differ uh, so we had started with the ground floors first we will discuss about the ground floor and then we will discuss about the upper floor so in the ground floor we already discussed about mud flooring which is common in the village areas of our country or in, in any rural areas uh then we discussed about the brick flooring if you remember that we have talked about it in detail then we discussed about the flex stone flooring about the kota stone stone flooring so flex stone flooring is also done in detail then we talked fourth about the concrete flooring i think about the concrete flooring we are already done uh, but uh, moving from this further another type of flooring is going to be derived so let me uh, let you have a very very quick glance over it that uh, there are three basic processes which are carried out uh, during the construction of concrete flooring okay uh, in that we have the preparation of the sub base laying of base concrete and the last the flooring or the finishing okay that is the laying of the topping you can see in the image also how it looks how it appears appears you also know about the various advantages related to concrete so i don't need to go in very much detail but now we are deriving another type of flooring from the concrete what is the name we have terrazzo flooring terrazzo flooring okay so what is terrazzo now uh, if i say that a concrete mix is prepared that is correct you will have cement and sand and aggregate along with water but now aggregate which are used over here are not just the normal aggregates which are available in the market at the site or at normal conditions but the aggregates used over here are going to be marble chips you know what is the stone called marble you know what is that it comes in varieties of colors but basically marble is in white color but you have lots of colors you know about the granite also how your platform is constructed with uh, attractive colors and gloss finishes and different textures so what you are going to do over here is you are going to replace the normal aggregates with the marble chips so the aggregates used over here the concrete mix which is prepared over here will will have cement and sand but marble chips as aggregate so what is the major advantage of using this type of aggregate first it is going to give you a very nice appearance because you can construct in any color any shape any size marbles are available in different different colors right you know about that stone so you can have varieties of combination of different colors in your flooring if you provide normal concrete flooring it is going to be in normal grayish color but now if you provide with different colored marble chips which you are also able to see in the image flashing over here can you see that i have showed you six different types of terrazzo tiles it can be available in the form of tiles also terrazzo tiles are very much common these days but specifically terrazzo flooring is about the concrete mix which is prepared using the marble chips 
can you see in the image how uh, different types of colors can be obtained and how it looks uh, nice uh, as compared to normal concrete flooring okay uh, also have a look at the another uh, type of terrazzo flooring which you can see in the image new image flashing over here that how it looks how uh, how you would select this one as compared to the normal concrete flooring so now let us discuss about the points the technical points what does it say that it is used in residential buildings in offices in public buildings in schools so the uses are uh, pretty much common it can be used everywhere what does it say terrazzo topping terrazzo topping means the concrete layer which is consisting of marble chips how thick it is it is 6 mm thick terrazzo topping is provided on your base concrete which is laid uh, the basic process is going to remain the same uh, sand filling will be done earth filling will be done top of that your sub base layer that is laying of lime concrete or cement concrete will be done and on top of that your topping layer that is your terrazzo topping will be placed of generally 6 mm thickness it can vary it can be more it can be less but for now you have to keep in mind it is around 6 mm thickness uh, before laying uh, the flooring what does it say the whole area is divided into suitable panels right obviously whenever you are uh, suppose if you are laying a slab normal concrete slab for a bridge for a road then it is always subdivided into panels it is always subdivided into base and adjacent bays are always constructed it is the standard procedure of construction so that when you lay the adjacent base the base or the panels which are left in between empty for some time it gives it allows your already constructed uh, concrete panels to rest and to settle and when it is done you can carry out the construction in the alternate panels which are left empty so as to you create very much less disturbance to already constructed panels so uh, the same construction process is going to be uh, uh, used over here that it is divided into panels and adjacent bays are constructed now uh, so as i said what is terrazzo mixture uh, it is one part of cement uh, cement generally taken is white cement or colored cement if you want colored cement then you can add a color pigment in white cement and that becomes your colored cement obviously you want attractive appearance you want good appearance so here white cement is used along with the marble chips of different colors and different shapes and sizes okay uh, so that is your terrazzo mixture and this makes your terrazzo flooring so students uh, i think uh, we have covered all of the ground floors over here uh, one more is left timber flooring but that i am going to take along with the upper flooring okay so now let us start with the upper floors before going to upper floors the first being the timber flooring i am going to discuss the timber floor for the ground floor okay then we will move forward to upper floor timber flooring can be done you know that of course it can be done in ground floor also it can be done in upper floor also similarly all the other types of flooring can be done in upper floor also but since your upper floor is going to carry huge amount of load as compared to ground floor so special types or uh, reinforcements and everything has to be provided so uh, taking next in the ground floor that is timber flooring in the timber floor you will have three different types first you have is wooden block flooring second you have is wooden plank flooring you can see the difference between these two in the block flooring wooden blocks are used in the plank flooring you can see long planks long strips are used of made up of wood or timber and the third type is supported type of timber flooring you have to support it with the help of girders it can be plank flooring it can be block flooring but it is supported type it means you have to support it with joist with planks with uh, suitable supporting equipment because the load coming on it shall be heavy now what does it say about the uh, block flooring so wooden block flooring is preferred on the ground floor when dampness is not a problem as i said that if you construct ground floor you have to always provide the damp proofing courses you have to provide earth filling but when dampness is not a very much big problem then you can use block flooring otherwise you will have to go for plank flooring and supported type of flooring depending on the condition so 
base concrete is going to remain the same uh, cement mortar or cement concrete or lime concrete of 15 to 20 cm thickness is prepared it is laid it is well ramped and on top of that your construction of flooring is done about plank flooring as i said the wooden planks plank means long strips long uh, if if i say a beam a long beam so those uh, 20 to 25 mm thickness and 150 to 200 that is 15 to 20 centimeter width if you use such wooden uh, planks long beams small beams i am saying beams because it would be easier for you to understand otherwise it is called planks only so those type of planks are used and the flooring is done uh, supported type as i said if the load coming is very much heavy uh, and where does it happen it happens in gymnasiums in auditoriums in theaters at all those places supported type of timber flooring it means it is supported with on the girders on the joists right intermediate support has to be provided below the flooring so such kind of timber flooring is used over there uh, now we are talking about the upper floor timber floor is continued ground floor is over now we are moving forward to the upper floor and in the upper floor we are going to discuss the first about the wooden flooring or the timber flooring itself now have a look at the uh, sketch which is in front of you okay now first of all have a look at the plan which is drawn what can you see in the plan then you have uh, if i say that uh, if i take it from my direction then you have planks planks are laid in the flooring correct you have vertical planks and then you have horizontal plank now the vertical planks are the joist okay they are wooden planks itself right but they are called as joist now those joist are provided with such that its support are fixed in the walls its supports are fixed in both the walls which you can see in the plan also and on top of that your wooden plank flooring is provided so your vertical planks which you can see right now are your joists okay those are your joists we are going to call them as joists they are fixed in the walls they are packed uh, into the walls in, in the support and that makes your skeleton that makes your support for the construction of wooden flooring for the construction of timber flooring so on top of that the horizontal members which you can see are your wooden planks are your wooden planks or your actual flooring planks which you are going to provide now this is the basic outline let us understand in depth in detail with the help of the technical points and also with the help of cross section which you can see so what is uh, it saying it is the cheapest form of construction uh, yes timber flooring is going to be very cheap marble flooring is always costly you know that uh, marble comes in very much huge cost so it is the cheapest form now also mark that one more thing we have more classification in timber flooring in upper floors right you will have single joist here which you can see the vertical planks which are provided that is single joist you can provide that as double joist you can also provide that as triple joist so you will have three different types of wooden flooring when you talk about upper floor timber flooring one which we are discussing right now is your single joist type okay so what does it say the floors are constructed by fixing 25 to 30 mm thick planking or boarding now the planks we will call them planks or we can also call them boarding it is one and the same uh, they are fixed to the wooden joist now the vertical which i told you already in simple words that those are known as joist we will call them as bridging joist bridging joist are provided and on top of that what is fixed your wooden boards or wooden plank which is going to be your final outcome or your final floor then the span for single floor now span will be limited over here if it is 3 up to 3.66 mm then only you can use single joist type otherwise if the span increases then you will have to provide more intermediate supports inside and you can go for double joist and triple joist triple joist is also known as framed type of structure so next it says the width of the joist 
what is the width to see these are just technical points and dimensions regarding the bridging joist and the wooden plank or flooring so what is the depth how it how it is determined there is a thumb rule right uh, it will be four times the span four times the span in meters plus 5 cm will be your what will it be thumb rule for width of the joist and depth of the joist okay next what does it say if the span exceeds 2.5 meter see it is limited up to 3.6 um, 66 meter that is correct but if it is between 2.5 to 3.66 mm then timber joist are strengthened by providing herring bone strutting at the mid span look at this uh, plan over here can you see intermediate uh, one more plank is provided at the center can you see that a long member is provided at the center yes that is your intermediate strutting intermediate strut okay just calling that member as strut that intermediate strutting is provided if your span is increasing 2.5 meter up to 3.66 mm okay uh, next end wedges uh, that is the support look at the cross section which is shown above below the plan can you see that wedges wedge joint is provided it is supported it is fixed in the wall your bridging joist okay end of the joist are nailed they are it can be nailed they can be caulked or notched to the wall as i said it is fixed into the wall you can also provide wall plates okay so this is how your single joist type wooden flooring box uh, if you want to see for real that how this bridging joist are placed at first you can see in the image i think this image is going to make it very much clear in your mind you can also see that intermediate strut is also provided over here and how your uh, bridging joists are constructed and on on top of this your wooden planking or boarding will be fixed and that it will make your flooring okay students so i think i should keep up to here till now because this will take time to understand if i explain all three types in just one go it will become very difficult for you to understand so i suggest go through this session thoroughly understand the single joist type timber flooring so that this will make it very easier to understand the other two types of flooring okay students uh, please go through today's session very nicely and understand the concepts and we shall continue in next session thank you students